Welcome uh, to our show, everyone. My name is Lelo B. And I'm Lighten. You can join us every second week here on YouTube for a little one and a whole lot of conversation. Yeah, and how do we start the conversation off this week? So this week, I want to chat about, you know, how 2017 was such a difficult year for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know, what did you learn about love in 2017? <laughs> I know that's your favorite topic. <laughs> it is my favorite topic, but I think more than anything, um, love is, is, I think it taught me a lot more about mm -hmm. not just the romantic kind, but... Uh, 2017 is, is the year that my family and I got to, to come closer, closer together. Yeah. So it, it really taught me that as much as we we, we have our own su successes outside of home and uh -huh. our careers and everywhere, exactly. uh, the, the true, real love, unconditional love, you find it in, in, in family. Okay. And I think that has been the uh, one of the highlights for me yeah. in 2017. Quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's it's it was a crazy year, but I really I think also even with with friendships, exactly. um, there were some that I lost and and others that I gained, mm -hmm. and it's it's quite normal yeah. for that to happen because as people we evolve, grow and we grow, and, yeah, we grow out yeah. of different spaces. What yeah. did it teach you about love? Well, like it was it was a, it was a very challenging year for me. Like twenty seventeen, there's a lot of changes, mm. career wise, and like you know. Love and yeah, so you know, you I always hit you up with my stories, so like you know very well. But I think like what I learned was that I was watching um Essence Mag uh, Essence uh Woman like of the Year, women, yes, look on, uh, yeah, in Hollywood, which is I think it's like two years back, mm -hmm. but I, was, I watched it recently. And Asia Naomi King spoke about how wait, I actually have it here. That was in March, she had, uh, so it was yeah, last year, exactly. Yes. And then she said something that was really, really quite interesting that mm. stuck with me. Is that the girl in How to Get, How to get, get Away with Murder? Yeah, the pretty, pretty the one with chocolate girl. Da dating Asha and uh. she's so rude to him. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Asha said that I had, um, as part of her speech, she said, I have to stop believing that the root of my talent is from a tree growing in someone else's backyard, wow. as if the fruit it bears doesn't belong to me. Oh and I thought, like, I just like it just like I hit a light bulb, mm -hmm. a light bulb, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, you know what, that's in some ways that's how I've been approaching my relationships. Where like my talent being like I'm a loving person. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm a warm person and mm -hmm. I'm like I don't really take a lot of things to heart. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was selling myself short because I was like, Ah, this one is too good for me, I don't deserve this. What? And then like you start like you know, projecting that whole like insecurity. Yeah. I think for me it was I couldn't believe it when I was like in love because I felt like it's not growing in my yard. Yeah, I didn't deserve it. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It, it, it's a bit like I think when when reading her speech as well, it was it was it was actually a, a common phenomenon. Exactly. The whole um, imposter the syndrome, syndrome. Where exactly. You, even when you excel exactly. in your career yeah. and you're sitting you're sitting in a boardroom with 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 all these professionals and you look around and you're like, oh my gosh, how did I end up here? Yeah. And it kind of feels like. Someone is gonna come and tell you to go to leave because exactly, you don't belong, you don't belong here. So, yeah. But what was it about those relationships that made you feel like you you didn't deserve them? Was it because people those people had more money or they were good looking? What was it? I think I think it was me I actually you know like you take a step back and then you actually try and be honest with yourself and keep yourself accountable and I think it was I wasn't secure with myself mm -hmm. so I saw everything else and. Differently, and now when I look at it, I'm like, I actually like I was like better looking than you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I met a lot of formula than you did. Uh -huh. But then for some reason, at that point, I was like, I felt like I was lucky to have this person, yeah. and I didn't deserve and it them. And it didn't put, yeah, it was, it and, and yeah, and it's actually it quite it shocked me for a while, mm -hmm. and it took me a while to actually be okay with like, telling it to. Everybody. Yeah, but I mean yeah. the, the fact that she recognized that also yeah. is, is growth on its own, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So and which 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 is what I like about this show. This con we can have these conversations where you know sometimes you're not the only crazy person yes. or like you know you think absolutely. like yeah the crazy. So I like yeah absolutely. It's almost like when when I read that. I mean, you look at her, um, the yeah. like the king lady yeah. actress. Yeah. Is it how do you say it? Asia? Is it Asia? Yeah. I thought it was A J A. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought it was AJA. I didn't like initials or something, but yeah. anyway. So Aja, yeah. I mean when I read that I was like, but 
wow, she's she's amazing. Exactly, and she's, yeah. She's had a great career, yeah. I think. And she's in a hit show. I mean, exactly. how to get away with yeah. murder. But is it... So so when she said that, and you're like, oh, okay. So I'm not the only yeah. one who goes through these exactly. kind of emotions. Yeah, and exactly. it kind of makes you feel... Oh wow! So it's normal. It's normal, yeah. yeah. And exactly. I think when we recognize it, the, the power is in recognizing, recognizing that, that feeling. Exactly, yeah. Because yeah. then you like, then you're confronted. Then it becomes a bit better. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. That is so amazing. And just moving along, I want to ask you something <laughs> else. Okay. Uh, what do you know for sure about love at this point? What I know for sure about mm-hmm. love is that. With the right person, love is easy. Yeah. I know that for sure. Yeah. I think... Um, From experience? <laughs> can you not, like, now get personal? Like, are you asked? Okay, well, what do I know for sure? Conversations so, with friends? <laughs> uh, wait. Convey what? Well. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what, that's what I know for sure. Mm. What I know for sure about love is that... When, when it's real love, I don't have to wonder when you're going to make contact with me next. I don't have to wonder what you're doing when you are busy on your phone. I don't have to wonder what it is you're doing. Yeah. I don't have to, um, to worry about if I send you a message, are you going to text me back? It's just easy, Please, you know. Yeah. I think we, 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 you know, the sad thing about love, I, I, I read this one thing a long time ago about how we, our perception of love comes from... Um, bad experiences and that we, we, we go through all those bad experiences which are not no, love, love and we use them to define what, what love, love is. is and it's complicated, love is difficult. Exactly. Actually it isn't, no, it, it, it's so be. simple. Yeah. So that's that's what I know for sure about love so, yeah. and with the right person love is easy. Yeah. And we don't like easy because easy it's is boring. Boring, exactly. Yes, we because want we want something board. different. And yeah, yeah, we want the bad boys and stuff. And I just like what you just said about mm-hmm. love is so easy that even with communication mm-hmm. communication and communicating with like the other party, you don't yeah. feel like, oh, when is he texting me back? Like, you know <laughs> me, I'm a serial texter. <laughs> Yeah. And a serial everything. Yeah. And I sometimes I feel like I need to step back mm-hmm. and be like, you know what? This let's just like let let it happen its own. Cause mm-hmm. I'm always like I texted you, I need to hear this now, like, you know, and sometimes I think, like, it should be easy, like you said, I like that. But I also, like that. also, I think, I think having key mm-hmm. expectations, because just because you like te- texting does not necessarily mean the other person likes texting as well. True. So you guys have to find a way of, okay, what do you prefer and how do we communicate? Exactly. So we want texting because we're always on social, social media, media, so that's yeah. our life, but yeah. is the person you're with also the same? Yeah. You know, I think that those are the kind of conversations that we need to have exactly. in relationships, but we're so shy. So you like, yeah. oh my gosh, if I ask this person, what if they leave? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Lyson, what do you... I thought that was a bit of a dig, <laughs> but... Uh... <laughs> I'm just saying. But, okay. So what do you know for sure about love? What I know for sure is that, uh, like, also joining in from what we were talking about earlier, mm-hmm. I think it's, for me, love, what I know for sure at this point mm-hmm. is that love has to come from within mm-hmm. and I think it's it's such a simple statement it's like easy to it understand to. but I don't think it's easy to actually do and be cognizant of so mm-hmm. yeah for me I think it's like it needs to come from within because mm-hmm. when you Ianla always says this mm-hmm. thing that like you need to give love that's like overflows from your cup and you you cannot give love from your cup and then like your cup just goes and down you need to give like yeah, yeah exactly overflowing, yeah, so overflowing, overflowing for you to give yeah. otherwise you make the other person a this oh wow mm. oh, i wow. know right and exactly it's still, still your, your joy, joy. and still oh, your love wow. i was like that's quite interesting so like i think that's what i know for sure now and i think i'm like and it's a place in my life and i think you know mm. but that i'm like <laughs> i think i'm so good with being me like in all like my flows and my glory that mm. It's just, it's easier. Mm-hmm. Like, it just, it's easier. I feel like, okay, now I can give love because mm-hmm. I, yeah. yeah. Because like, so, I, I mean, I, I said this when, when in 2014, when we did the love conference, yes. I said that 
I think that was the year for me of self-love, discovering self-love yes. and how I just figured out actually, you know, if you love yourself a bit more than you love the other person, mm -hmm. then it, it, it's so much easier because it's so much easier it's for it. you to walk away from situations exactly. that don't serve you. Exactly. You know? And to put yourself first. Mm -hmm. And like, not, like what you just said, I feel like I'm calling a lot of people today. But <laughs> <laughs> who's, uh, there's somebody who says that, uh, Nina Simone says that, you should always know, you should always leave when love is no longer being served. Absolutely. Exactly. And, Which is, yeah. is, and you can only leave when you truly she love yourself. yourself. Yeah. Exactly. But now though, now, until two weeks time, right? Yeah, two weeks time. Two weeks time. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you for joining us.